Hello friends, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is uh, part two of the most recent video I did on how to use calculation groups uh, to improve um, Matrix visual look and feel. Uh, check out that video uh, if you want. If you're going to watch this video, make sure you watch the part one as well. I will put the link of that video in the description of this video. Let's jump to Power BI and take a look. Uh, in my part one video, what I did is I showed like how you have in the matrix visual columns, um, multiple measures on the columns. And if you have a load more measures, then you will have a scroll bar and uh, or you have a little space where you're putting the matrix visual. You might have like, for example, if you do like this and then you have uh, you have to scroll left and right to see all the measures. And the alternate is that you can actually have the measures on the rows on in this particular case like if you look at this one we have open close outstanding close rate on the rows and then um, also we are having current and previous shown here as well so we took advantage of calculation groups uh, i'm not going to go into the details about that but uh, uh, it's already explained in part one video now one question i left in part one video was how about if you wanted to also include variance and variance percentage right so for example in september we have 281 open tickets and the previous month we have 169 open ticket which is august what is the percentage variance uh, from the previous month right how many more has been opened and we can apply this on any of these uh, kpis or the measures we are looking on the rows so um, some of you guys have already replied on um, uh, on my YouTube um, video. Uh, so if I have to do it, this is what I will do is I already created two more measures. Again, current and previous is just a placeholder measures. So I created one is variance and um, which is just in a blank and variance percentage is also blank. All right, so that's the one thing I did and uh, created. Basically, now we have four measures: current, previous, variance, and variance percentage. All are just a placeholder for the blank value. And now, if I put the variance and variance percentage here, uh, we're not going to get the correct numbers. So what we're getting here is variance is giving us the same value as open, and uh, variance percentage is basically showing us uh, value in the percentage. Uh, same same number the reasoning behind that is we did not put the instructions in our calculation items um, what to do when variance and variance percentages uh, dropped on the visual so let's go back to calculation group so what I have in calculation groups here I, I, I already talked in uh, part one so we have a we said like if, if the measure currently uses current then you selected measure if it's previous then go back previous otherwise you return the selected measure so because we are using now variance and variance percentage it is just giving us the selected measure which in open case is ticket opened that is the measure being used so what we need to do here is to expand the solution we also need to check here if is selected measure is variance then what to do so what we can do is uh, we the, the variance is selected measure minus uh, previous uh, measure right so we can take selected measure minus whatever the previous measure calculation is which is this calculation and that should give us the delta between the current and the previous let's take a look um, let's apply these changes and look at the variance now we if you look at the variance column now we have 112 which is 281 minus 169 it's 112 similarly when we go in october we had the open tickets 240 and previous is 281 and the delta is minus 41. now the variance percentage is still not cal getting calculated correctly so again we have to uh, put that condition in here as well let's uh, uh, put that condition here as well if it's a variance percentage then what we need to do now what we need to do is divide the our difference between current and previous uh, and sorry so divide 
this is delta uh, this is current this is previous uh, minus so that's divided by previous right so that's what our percentage would be so that's what it's gonna look like and then close the divide again just to explain so first we are calculating the delta which is current minus previous and then divided by the previous right so previous is always this this particular measure let's apply these changes now so we should see the percentage this is 62 percent close percentage in is 170 and so forth so on whatever the business logic is but uh, this is how we're doing the calculation but one thing um i didn't like about this solution is even though this is working what we need to do is we also need to uh because i have this as mtd right we can we need to do this in the year to date as well uh, i'm not going to make those changes but if you look at that we are repeating this code uh once here then here second time and then here third time and then here four times so basically the same code we are repeating four times which is a little bit hard to maintain if we really have a complex calculation going on and we are doing it four different places it does not look like it's a right approach right so what we can do in this case is we can take advantage of variables in this case we can store the value in variables and then reuse it again and again so that our logic is in one place and that is the power of variables that you can use within your measures so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, store everything in my uh, variables so we're going to create one variable called current that is just our current value then what we're going to do is a previous which is this particular calculation we know that works and that calculation we already looked into it and uh, so that is our uh, let's make sure that we are formatting it correctly uh, so that is our previous so now we return here and we can do is okay if my measure is current then use the variable current and if my if wherever i want to use the previous i'm just going to use that variable previous now in this particular case my calculation will be simply um, current minus previous right this is current minus uh, okay minus previous right so because we already stored this in a variable we don't have to use this logic again and again now again we can take this one in the divide current minus previous divided by previous right so this become much more user friendly to read and maintain what we are doing here and uh, pretty much that's it right let's apply these changes and see what happens okay we're gonna get the same result uh, but what happened is it's much easier like if we have any business logic applied here like these are the simple measures but let's say we have a complex measures so we will for the previous we will make the logic change here and it will flow through everything here one more thing we can improve on this one we are using this current minus previous at two different uh, places so what we can do is we can also store this in a variable right so we can say uh, another variable called variance which is pretty much current minus previous and instead of using this again and uh, this calculation at two different places we can use variance variable here and also variance variable here so now what happens is all our calculation is in the variable on the top um, and then we are based on which measure is getting used we are actually using that variable so it makes it very very easy to maintain and uh, let's apply this change and everything should look perfectly fine now this is the one part of the video or the improvement like how you can do the variance and how you can take advantage of uh, variables how about um uh, if you look at this one what we're doing here is uh, um let's say we want to give user the opportunity to see what measures they want to use on the visual right right now we we can surely filter an open close outstanding and close rate measures let's for where we have that that we have a a calculation of cg kpi we can create this as in a as in a slicer and then i, I really want to see open so that's what it is and i want to see open and close and that's what it is 
whatever right so it's up to my choice what i want to use but now in this case i have a current previous variance and variance i don't maybe some user want to personalize they don't want to just see current and the variance percentage they don't want to see everything right in this particular example the way we have done so far what we need to do is we have to come to our matrix visual and manually remove whatever um, measure we don't want to use but there is no way to use that in a slicer so how we can do that here we can take advantage of field parameters there is two ways to do that we can do it with the calculation groups as well and create another calculation groups or we can create a field parameter but in this case field param parameter is much much easier because that will give us the result how are we going to do that uh, let's take a look at that so we're going to create here one new modeling um, in the under modeling new parameters and field parameters let's call it field parameters kpi and we're going to drop our uh, placeholder measures in here current which we know what those are previous variance and variance percentage right that those are the four different um, uh, measures we are have so instead of using all these four measures manually here we're going to remove those and uh, use our field parameter kpi which we just created and drop that into the values section because these all are measures it's going to go into the value values section here and now in one single go we don't need to drop all the four measures here whatever the measures we added in the field parameter they all showed up in here now what's the advantage of this one if i really wanted to see only current and variance percentage i can have only two um based on the selection right let's say i want open and close rate these are the two things i'm more interested in and i just want the current and the variance percentage now i have the full selection on what i really wanted to um, see in my visual and i can personalize the way i want it to be and um, the, the, also we don't need to use multiple uh measures um, in our in our uh, value section right if that's our requirement we can really uh, make it dynamic basically we have a measures on the row open close outstanding close rate and also we have a measures on the columns as well with the ability to pick and choose what we want to see i think this is really really good solution in terms of uh, we have a calculation in one single place uh, in calculation groups and uh, we have the ability to show the measures on the rows and also on the columns and let user pick um you know whatever they want to see i hope you like this video let me know what you guys think about that and um, another video is coming up in next uh, week or so a uh, pretty interesting one uh, make sure to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and uh, subscribe uh, like and share with your network thanks for watching and have a great day thank you bye for now